Hello, today we are gonna do some Christmas shirts for my coworkers and we'll take you along and show you the process on how we do that from start to finish. Whenever you finalize the design that you wanted, you then upload it to the website. For us, that's what we do and we use Transfer Express. I ordered 30 of them. I will put 30 as a quantity and then they'll send it looking like this. So then we'll cut them to sizes. It should look like this. For us, we decided to stick with 10.5, but it's gonna be your preference on how big or small you want. For adult, I think it can be for anywhere from 10 to 14 for a full size print. And also it's gonna be different on the back since you have like a bigger space. Um, but we decided to stick with 10.5. I think that it's a perfect size for what we wanted for t-shirts and sweatshirts. So that's what we're gonna do. What are you doing with the tripod? Come here. So let's cut this and all of the materials that we're going to be using in this video is going to be linked in our description box just in case you have any questions. If you're thinking of starting your own t-shirt business or just wanting to start a project but don't know where to begin, Creative Fabrica has tons of designs and wide range of selection depending on what your style and vibe is. Simply type in whatever keywords you're thinking of and browse through thousands of designs from that specific theme you chose. They also have fonts and seamless patterns that are perfect for any project you're working on. They even have embroidery designs that are already digitized for you. If you're interested, click the link on the description box and that gives you an all-access free trial. What that means is you get to use and enjoy all of their amazing designs for your project or business. Full disclosure, if you decide to sign up for the subscription using our link after the trial period ends, we do get a small commission at no extra charge to you. So hope you check it out and let that creativity run wild. This is what they all look like. We already bad them. Tag, name. But they all look so cute. I think pink is my favorite. But the maroon one is also cute. has a right aka <laughs> this guy is holding it up <laughs> look at his feet mario where what it, <laughs> oh <laughs> We 
are going to sublimate this design onto these 100% polyester bags. We use the A-sub sublimation paper, but when you guys print it, it should be mirrored because when you put the design on the bag, it should look like this. So it's going to be flipped down like that. And what sublimation means is the heat from the heat press basically embeds all of these colors to the fabric that you're using. That's why we have to use polyester at least 60% for the color to transfer completely. So then you'll have more vibrant color. For the 100% polyester bags, you can get any of these in Amazon, any craft store, but make sure it's at least 60% for us. We're using 100% polyester. That way, all of the images and colors will pop up and it will look very vibrant. We got an order for 74 tote bags and we're just quality check each bag. Make sure there's no holes, everything is nice and good before we start sublimating on them. Forever. Was it? Yes. How many more to go? Mm, <laughs> 60. <laughs> 60. He already did a couple of them, a lot of them. Michael finished everything. We got all of this 74 bags to pack. <laughs> it was a lot. But they turn out so cute. The colors are so vibrant as well. Didn't get to show the way I package everything, but this is all what they look like now. All individually packed and ready to distribute. I just got to work. I'm getting ready for my shift, but I got to drop off the tote bags first. And I just want to say thank you so much for watching. And I hope this was informational and helpful to those who are thinking of doing sublimation. And uh, that's it. Um, we'll see you again next time. Bye. <laughs>